Good morning, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for November 14th, 2022, current on 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about this morning, including a couple of tropical waves out there across the Atlantic Basin, a couple in the Caribbean as well. So let's go and look at everything right now. We do have in the overview of the Atlantic sector right now, again, we notice that there's a few tropical waves out there, but nothing is expected to develop at this particular moment. Of course, we are starting to ramp down the hurricane season, which is good news, but we still do have a few tropical waves and these could produce some heavy showers and thunderstorms in locations such as Nicaragua, Honduras, portions of Costa Rica, we can see that we have a cold front sliding south across portions of the U.S. and that has now kind of cleared Florida and we are seeing some nice cool temperatures on the back side of that. Looking here at the weather across portions of the Caribbean and the island chain today, the weather will be pretty fair, 83 to 92 degrees Fahrenheit, mostly sunny. However, we do notice in the infrared satellite there is some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there across the region today. And those will be moving into portions of the island chain over the course of today and tomorrow. So while mostly sunny conditions will exist, there will be the potential for some scattered showers and thunderstorms producing some gusty winds and heavy rainfall from time to time. But certainly nothing out of the unordinary and certainly nothing too big. And looking out across portions of the Western Caribbean as well, temperatures around 82 to 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Potential of showers and thunderstorms, especially across portions of the southern areas, Nicaragua, Honduras, Costa Rica, Panama. Those areas are most at risk for seeing those showers and thunderstorms today with the tropical wave that is currently sitting over there in the western part of the Caribbean. We'll have to watch this area that you notice on the infrared satellite for potential development, maybe into something. The GFS continues to hint at an area of low pressure trying to spin up down there. Not really sure if this is a convective feedback problem or not, uh, but irregardless, definitely some shower and thunderstorm activity for those regions over the next couple of days. Gusty winds, heavy rainfall, potential mudslides and flooding, definitely the highest concerns there. And out across portions of the Gulf of Mexico today, temperatures are at around 64 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, large spread. However, cool air is coming south. Most of the area will receive pretty sunny conditions, not really looking for any thunderstorm or rain activity. Most of that has now cleared out. The only potential for rain will be across portions of Texas and Louisiana, maybe into portions of far southern Mississippi, but that's really about it. Otherwise, nice, cool, crisp, and sunny. Now looking out here for the GFS forecast, we're looking at the precipitation simulated radar here. We got a potential storm that could try to develop out here. We notice that the GFS forecast is pretty insistent on something trying to spin up out here in the Western Caribbean. We notice that an area of low pressure starts to develop within about the next five days or so. Now, whether or not this is just spurious vorticity, convective feedback problems that we've been talking about on this channel with the GFS, or whether or not this is a legitimate potential has remained to be seen. However, I'm not really concerned about a storm developing. The season is just really about over. While you can't have storms during the off season, not really the highest potential right now. And looking out here, we do have a potential snowstorm that could develop. We're looking at the high resolution forecast guidance here over the next about day or so. We notice how there will be a developing snow event across portions of the Midwest spreading northward as we progress over the next couple of days. But we also notice that on the back side of that and, and further south, we do have the potential for maybe an isolated severe weather event across portions of the southeast U.S., maybe even spreading into portions of the Carolinas over the next couple of days. The only real limiting factor of this, though, is going to be that instability. Uh, but irregardless, do expect some snow showers as well. And we can see here, looking at the instability values, they aren't particularly high. The only instability values kind of reside across portions of Florida and the far southern portions of the Gulf Coast states. So maybe the isolated tornado potential, severe weather potential down there across portions of the Gulf Coast states may be spreading a little bit northward across portions of the Carolinas over the next couple of days. We'll have to continue to monitor that. Nothing official from Storm Prediction Center at this particular point. All right. Hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Mike Rotmalley. I'll talk to you guys again some more tomorrow.